Hello, welcome to Shama's online mindful meditation program. Today we'll be looking at heart, body and mind and the concept of healing. I'm finishing off with a nice meditation to help you to kind of input into your own well-being. Feel free to follow Shama on their Facebook page and their YouTube account and uh, feel free to comment here as well. So today we're going to be looking at um, different ideas around healing. But first, let's talk a little bit about the growth zones and mindfulness. So when we practice mindfulness, we practice a concept of introspection or meditation. And the more we begin to practice this, we begin to grow and flourish. So when we're in our day to day life, we stay within our comfort zone and we're unable sometimes to step out of that because it's better the um, environment you know you don't want to step out into it because you feel whole and in control to some extent but when we begin to access uh, mindful meditation often sometimes we step into a fear zone because when we say fear zone we mean that lack of commitment so if we don't do it regularly if you've noticed during the sessions i constantly say it takes time and practice the reason why is often that we don't have that lack of we don't have that commitment should I say and often we don't keep up with something with a practice that's actually positive for us but when we do begin to commit we begin to learn mindfulness or practice it or understand it in any form that we're able to we enter into something called learning zone and in this learning zone we begin to change those patterns of behavior those previously negative patterns of behavior into something more positive and then once we get really good at doing that and we start implementing that into our daily routine, we're able to enter into something called a growth zone. And in the growth zone, we we are regularly practicing mindfulness or meditation or any other kind of activity that's helping us to grow and uh, look within ourselves. Another thing to look at is understanding mindfulness in such a way that by by engaging in mindfulness or meditation particularly in this aspect we create an awareness a self-awareness of who we are an awareness of the present moment and as we begin to center ourselves into the present moment into the here and now it also creates self-discipline so that stage of self-discipline is really good because we're able to enter into that learning zone or that growth zone where we're able to remind ourselves that it's really important to put our self-care and our well-being first. And then also anchoring the breath, which is often part of mindful practice or meditative practices and all different practices. And they vary in common different forms. Helps us also to uh, align the physical side of us our bodies and align our body and minds together through anchoring a breath you know through some of the sessions i've been holding that's been a really good way of bringing ourselves back to our breath to center ourselves into the present moment and another stage is compassion and self-love we unlock that stage of compassion and self-love because we begin to understand that we need to prioritize our self-care be more compassionate towards ourselves and love ourselves more enough to prioritize our own well-being. Often we spend our time, um, you know, being compassionate towards others or, you know, loving others or doing everything we can to help others, but often neglect our own um, selves. So it's really important that as you engage in these practices, that you understand the cycle of the different stages that happens. And again, you meditate, creates self-awareness also creates self-discipline within the self by also by anchoring the breath and again compassion increasing compassion and self-love and so the pattern goes on and that process unlocks several positive stages that will benefit you in so many ways so let's look at how uh, we can begin to heal the, the heart and the body and the mind but the, the, word of he the word healing itself has many different ideas that may perhaps come into mind in terms of what healing might mean to you. Maybe you're thinking about physical healing. Um, well, for example, when you're not feeling so well and you go to your doctors to heal those physical symptoms. Or perhaps, you know, you may go to alternative or holistic practitioners 
to try different approaches such as acupuncture or um, homeopathy or reflexology to lighten those physical issues, any dis-ease in the body, an Ill illness and other conditions. Or perhaps you may see it as a more emotional psychological healing and seek help of therapists to assist in that self-healing from within through the emotions, resettling those emotions and gaining back control in your life. Some therapists look into the past to resolve issues and some, like myself, focus more on the present moment or even a combination of the two. So healing in itself is what happens when we when things get out of control and we need to really bring it all in again and begin to centre ourselves and heal ourselves, whether it's the body or the mind or anything else. Maybe thinking about healing in a way by shifting our perspective and seeing it as an active process, a process that we're continually um, part of and it grows and changes as we grow as well. And you can learn how to address the understanding of self-healing, whichever capacity it may be, in a more broader sense. So let's look at self-healing in terms of stress. So physical tension and mental emotional stress can produce lots of different impulses in the brain and that disperses and spreads stress chemicals in the body that cause lots of different things. For example, some studies have shown that uh, arthritis or tendonitis, which are inflammatory conditions, tend to increase more when we're stressed. Muscle pain, such as back aches and headaches or any muscle, muscle tension, or higher blood pressure too. Or emotional imbalance, when we're struggling a little bit too much, having going through challenging times as we all do, we feel more anxious or angry perhaps, or have low moods or depressed. So what we're going to do today, we're going to embark on a little bit of uh, inner healing meditation. So whether, whether you're struggling with any physical or emotional, psychological uh, challenges right now, it's absolutely fine. You know, let's get meditating. So in your own time, if you'd like to bring your attention to your body, and just notice how your body's feeling right now. Just noticing the weight of your head over there on your shoulders and releasing any tension you may be experiencing from your arms and allowing any stress or tension to simply flow through you. Now, relax your back muscles and release any tightness you may be feeling in your stomach. Just noticing how your legs begin to relax and following all the way down to your feet and your toes. And don't worry if you're finding it somewhat difficult to relax, it's absolutely fine. The more you practice, the easier it becomes. Now, as you begin to relax, just allow those muscles to unwind. Notice any sensations that arise in your body. Just noticing what they need. And paying attention to your body. Now, bringing gentle awareness to your body noticing any sensitivity and your body or any messages your body sends you right now and bring your awareness to your breathing. Just noticing the depth of your pace of your breathing. Is it fast or slow or something else? And allowing your breath to become slower, softer as you relax. Helps inhaling slowly through your nose and exhaling out of your mouth. Perhaps you're noticing how your tummy rises as you breathe in and falls as you breathe out. Inhaling and feeling the breath traveling all the way through your body. Exhale and feel the breath flowing out your body. 
This is your time for you and simply give yourself permission to relax and let go. Now, focusing your mind on the sensation or the idea of you. What does it mean to you? What does it feel like? If it helps, perhaps imagine it as a warm light. Your light from within that heals your body or your mind as we continue now and helps you to cope a little better so as you relax there breathe in love and exhale out tension evaporating all that tension away breathe in harmony just allowing that inner warm light to heal wherever it needs to go and breathe out frustration far far away breathing in calmness and allowing your own strength and awareness to heal breathe out illness and watch it evaporate away now bringing awareness to your breath focusing on your breath right now in this moment slowing down now the breath begins to slow and deepen your breath that belongs to you breathing in positive thoughts breathing out any strength breathing in harmony healing your thoughts and mind and breathe out any sadness and watch it float away positivity. Knowing what you need right now, breathing out dis-ease, just let it go as it dissolves away, releasing all self-judgment and criticism, reminding yourself you are unique and strong. Focus on breathing in joy and love. Focus on allowing your body to relax and imagine how that light within you works its way to those different parts of your body or your mind that need attention right now. And allow your thoughts to assist healing and sending yourself some self-care and kindness and compassion to heal your mind and releasing and letting go of any blockages to your well-being and allow yourself to exhale as deep as you need to and simply letting go focusing on slower deeper breathing releasing all self-judgment and criticism you don't need to judge yourself what is important is how amazing you really are. Breathing in harmony and enjoying this moment. Breathing out discord. You are brave and unique and enjoying this moment all for yourself. a feeling of relaxation and calm to spread through your entire body. Being present in the here and now, this is your time for you. Allowing the body and mind to flow together, creating a sense of peace and well-being. Just enjoying this moment that you created for yourself. time if you'd like to take a few moments to bring back attention to your body starting with your toes through your legs and into your belly up through your back and through your arms and shoulders from your shoulders and neck and back to your precious breath and slowly begin to open your eyes and adjust to your surroundings. 
I hope you found today's session useful. Feel free to use it anytime you like. So until then, take care.